Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there was a news update that was shared confirming that Okia Umrata is determined to take this war of finance bill till the end. Now, he is asking the court to jail the EPRA chief executive officer, Daniel Kipton, for defying a court order suspending the implementation of 2023 financial bill. And this information here, news update, Busa Senator Oke okay, Umtata asked court to jail EPRA CEO Daniel Kiptoo for increasing fuel price despite orders suspending financial bill 2023. That's what Oke okay, Umtata is asking the court to do. But then when I hear of this, I now go back to the internet and if you listen to what William Ruto said by then when he was Uhuru Kenyatta's deputy on matters to do with the, a government that was democratically elected into office a government that is going to respect the rule of law and because it is a democratic country a government they also have to respect court orders that's what Ruto said. And it was very clear that if there is any government officer or official who is not respecting the court order, they should be held personally responsible for disrespecting any law of the land or the constitution or court order for that matter. So we have Daniel Kipto the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority Chief Executive Officer who is clearly disregarding, disrespecting, defying a court order. First of all, listen to William Samayruto before we go further to question a man who is working in this government who actually was appointed by one William Samayruto as the executive officer of EPRA. First of all, listen to William Ruto, then from here, we are going to continue with this discussion to understand really if Okia Omtata is justified to move with that move. To Every public official must know that the Jubilee administration is a democratically elected government on the basis of the rule of law. The Constitution is not a book, it is the law. Court orders are not pieces of paper, it is the law. And therefore, we want every public servant to understand that the basis of our democracy and the basis of our nationhood is the respect for the rule of law. The slide to anarchy and confusion and impunity and dictatorship starts when we do not respect the rule of law. Every public servant will be held personally accountable if they do not respect the rule of law. There is nowhere in the Jubilee administration the president, myself as deputy president, or any part of this government does not believe in not respecting the rule of law. Now, we are continuing with the final discussion. But just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our return members, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Going by William Ruto's position and Okia Umbrata's prayer to the court, we are concluding on this panel and saying that indeed what is good for the Ghana should be good for the goose. If it was right for William Ruto, and by the way, he was right on that point, that any government officer who is disregarding the rule of law must be held responsible individually. It does not matter if Ruto made a phone call 
to the EPRA CEO, uh, Chief Executive Officer CEO Daniel Kipto or not. Whether he made a phone call or not, red is that he was served with a court order. The government was served with a court order. The question is that why did he disregard the court order with a lot of impunity and go further to increase a fuel price with close to 14 shillings per litre? So, I am seeing William Ruto, who is in agreement with Okia Omutata. What Ruto said some years back is the same thing Okia Omutata is saying. So these two are speaking the same thing, but on different dates or time. But the reality is that they are saying the same thing. So today we are asking the court to do exactly what Okia Omutata is praying for. Because we are seeing a man who is being used by this government to operationalize impunity. And the Kenyans must be questioning this move. This alone was enough for Matatu operators and the border border riders to protest in solidarity with what Okio Data is doing. Otherwise, it will be seen as if it is just a fight of Okio Data alone. The day EPRA decided to go against a court order and an increase fuel price, it was the right time for Matatu operators to come out in their numbers and protest. Not just say, okay, we are going to increase the uh, fare. It was a time for border border, the normal the same way they normally come out when one of their own has been injured. It was the right time for them to come out in their numbers and protest, show their anger toward this government and toward the Emperor CEO Daniel Kipto. Because Kipto moved with impunity to implement an illegality. Otherwise, if people keep quiet, it will be seen as if it's just a war that Okio Mutata is fighting on his own. Where were Kenyans who are using Matatu, the passengers, to come out and protest against this move? It was the right time for them to protest. They were supposed to move to the Emperor CEO's office. Why do you petition now? That's how you can force things to happen in a, a lawful way when you have a rogue regime. This regime seemingly is a rogue one. So the best way to handle these people is when you have a chance to do so like what Okiom Data has started now. So that it is upon the citizen to pick this fight and to be with Okio Data in this fight, to demonstrate, to picket against the decision of Emperor CEO. See, I know that I'm a photo of my mother, but I don't know. Mutafana, how I am a woman, and I come he inch me out too. They can do anything they want and anyhow they want. My foot of Tanzania, eco cheap. My foot of Uganda, eco cheap. Kenya, you can. In Tanzania, wako na finance bill, ya nyemepita, ya Uganda, ya nyemepita. Iye Kenya, iko kwa koti, wanasema tutumele ya kitambu ya 8%. The man just wake up and increase. Inamanisha, once we allow them this way, watakua na muka tuwa kifikira leo ni kuongeza bay, wanaongeza. Inapanda hivu. Hapo na tumefika sasa. So it is high time, the court also now, to reclaim its glory. Remember where Maraga left the court? Ilikuwa pale ju. Many Kenyans believed in the rulings of the judiciary. So it is high time for them to reclaim their glory. 
And because someone has shown an appetite of defying a court order, then the judges who are sitting to listen to this case, that okay, that has been presented before the court on the finance bill, they have to make a proper ruling here to understand they are dealing with a regime which seemingly they are showing a character of goodism, impunity, scandals. What if the court make a ruling that will impair this regime from charging 16% on fuel? Because when they move ahead and they defy a court order, it means they are anticipating a ruling that is going to favor what they are doing already. What does that, what does that one tells you? So, Kipto must be held responsible. Ruto said it some time back. Okia Omrata is now in the court with a prayer requesting the court to jail a procedure for defying a court order. Order in the court. You come out and defy that order. Then you go in the same court to argue a case and you need a favor from the court to make a ruling that will favor you. This must be rejected. Kenyans must come out and reject impunity. We know Saba Saba is coming. Ruta metipanga kuondoka. So, nanabaki ni kashaka ndia naachio. Mambo ya kuenda kwa ofisi za kumina moja. Kuitisha guns kutoka huko kwenye anatoa. Wakuja wapige wa Kenya. Kwa maanda mana. To cause chaos. To cause invasion of people's property. So it is high time we should also be alert. If this war will be left to Okio Mutata, he might not succeed alone. He needs people behind him. It is political also. And when it is also political, then mass action is also important on this. So Kenyans missed a point somewhere. But Okio Mutata is not giving up. He's still fighting. He needs this man to be charged in the court of law. Otherwise, impunity will continue. Sio lazima mgoja kila siku raila kisema maandamano do maandamano ikue. Kulikuwa kukwe tuna maandamano the same day. Keep to move on to increase the price of fuel against a court order. But now, we are asking the court to do what Ruto and Okio Mutata are praying for, which is rightful when someone breaks the law. He should be held responsible.